What's up guys, it is I, the Mighty Green Chili here, and today I'm going to show you an awesome Treadmog Showcase. As your host, Green Chili will show you unique and special Treadmog sets for you to farm and wear on your character. I like making Treadmog, after all, it's what I enjoy. If you enjoy this content, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cool content. Let's get started, shall we? And today, I'm excited about this set, because this set, I put so many hours on this on Monday. I mean, the helmet might not be top tier, but damn, this look good. A fairy Stormwind Guard warrior known as the Deadly Stormwind Guard. And this Deadly Stormwind Guard, as his name suggests, he's freaking savage as heck. Yet, he knows how to stay loyal to the Lions. Who knew? Now, you might be wondering, Green Killing, how do you get any of these pieces? Well... Today I'm going to show you how to get each of these pieces from the set. I mean, look at it. It looks pretty damn good on both male and female characters, no doubt. It might look a little weird on the female, but if you're not into helmets, you can take it off whatever you want. But if you like the helmet, well then, be proud that you get to wear it around and show these people who's a real human in that eye of a helmet. Anyways, let's get started, shall we? Now, first is this helmet right here. Known as Kesku 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 of the Iron Bomber. Now, this helmet in particular is a very cool helmet which can only be dropped from Heroic Mode High Mole. To get the High Mole, you have to head all the way to everyone's favorite expansion, the Grand. Head to the west side uh, in front of the High Mole entrance near a guard. You can't miss him, and he has. He's right next to it, and you just all you have to do is just go inside and just find your way through the bosses. But luckily, you don't have to go through all the bosses because all you have to do is just just kill the first boss, the boss that people are expecting to be alive, and that's Cargaff Blade Fist. His chance of dropping the helmet is a whopping 13%. Just make sure it's on heroic mode, and you'll be fine. Now the next on our list would be the chest and pants, which is a little easier. Which all you have to do is just make sure you have 80 scraps each from from your garrison, and what you gotta do is just go to Lunafar Lunar Fall like garrison on the west north, and all you have to do is just you know just have your dwarven bunker ready, and and on the way before you even start your the real quest you know your own quest to just get a bunch of scraps. You start a quest to collect 20 scraps, I last I remembered. And all you do is just do that, and you get yourself a free tavern, which I showed you earlier. And and all you do is just go all around Drenar and just collect a bunch of scraps from Iron Horde NPCs. So yeah, not only you get a chest of pants, but also you get a free tavern, which looks really cool. Next on our list will be the gloves and boots. Now to get these gloves and boots all you have to do is head all the way back to Draenor to Ashram which is everyone's favorite PvP zone next nearby. Go Storm Shield and head to the north north section over here which I have point right there. Just talk to Amelia Clark and she will sell you the gloves and boots. Both will cost two each so make sure you have your four must on already for purchase. Now, I didn't mention the shield, because even though you can get it from the word bunker, but there's actually a cheaper way to get the shield. Which, all you have to do is just head all the way to Angoro. And just head to to the west side, near the, the little hot springs, and you will meet Maximilian of Northshire. And all you do is go through a small quest chain to become a squire, and to becoming a full night to him and last quest just kill a, a double sword with rocks and armor yeah you heard me right either armor at the monster and once you defeat the dragon quote unquote then Maximilian will give you his shield as a warrior or a paladin or whatever but we're warriors so it's a warrior weapon and I can admit the shield looks very good 
and what's even cooler, you can actually get this as as a, as a horde player. So if you have a horde ult that is a warrior, this is an easy picking. Heck, you can get it as a shaman as long you can wield shield, obviously. Now next on our list is be three pieces of gear: the shoulders, the belt, and the sword, which all can be bought from a recipe. And the recipe, of course, you have to make it from the recipe is the blacksmith thing. And like I said, you have to get it from Warzenar, which is everywhere for expansion. Head to Lunar Fall and on the north west, and you just talk to the NPC who sells them for you. First, you do have to get the actual secret book thingy, which is called the Secrets of Draenor Blacksmith thing. At least for the, the belt and shoulders and sword, you just need one. Of course, you do need to get another recipe in order to upgrade the shoulder belt. The reason why is because the shoulder belt start out a different color. It start out brown. When you slowly upgrade it, it'll, it'll turn red, kind of like a reddish with blue crystal and a green thing, like kind of like Kulturis. And then when you finally upgrade to the third stage, it stays blue. And this is supply the same thing with the shoulder pad. So yeah, it'll definitely cost a lot since it's very gold grimy. And it goes for like 21k. So that's a lot. The sword is actually easier because it's his first stage. Plus, just, just because it's basic, this means it doesn't look cool. And it does look pretty cool for a Soulmon Guard sword. So yeah, I do think this set looks very badass. And I put a lot of hours on, on like, you know, like, like this week on Monday. I put that many hours just to make sure this set looks good. I couldn't find a, you know, a helmet that's better than this one, but after all it has the little spike jaw thing and it has like a little blue on your eye, so it kind of makes it look like a stolen guard in full blue pride. A little bit of gold, I guess. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, guys. Peace out. And when I say peace out, I mean bye-bye.